you. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T. Today we are asking these questions. What are the risk factors for hypertension, for high blood pressure? We are going to divide them in two groups, non-modifiable and modifiable risk factors. Non-modifiable risk factors, as the name implies, means we really cannot do much about it. Uh, let's look into them. Number one, genetics. Number two, family history. Number three, race. And number four, uh, age. Studies have shown genetic susceptibility for high blood pressure. And family history. Uh, you're more likely to develop high blood pressure if you have a parent or a mother or a sibling with the condition. And race. African Americans have the highest rates of hypertension in the world with the mean uh, systolic blood pressure to higher number, five millimeters higher than whites, and yeah, prevalence higher as well. There's a dogma in medicine and cardiology is that hypertension increases with age. Is in fact, in the Western world, in the U.S. for sure, systolic blood pressure increases by 1.5 millimeters of mercury per year in girls, 1.9 millimeters of mercury per year in boys, and 0.6 millimeters meters of mercury per year in adults and the prevalence of hypertension increases sharply with age starting at age 25. Uh, between ages 20 and 34 is about 8 percent of men and 6 percent of women have high blood pressure but by the time you reach 75 80 percent of women 70 percent of men have high blood pressure and uh, there is also sex difference uh, men have more high blood pressure until age 60. After age 60, women actually uh, take the lead. Let's talk about modifiable uh, risk factors and uh, top 10. Uh, number one, uh, weight. The uh, uh, NHANES uh, surveys that shows the hypertension is more prevalent in obese individuals. If you have a body mass index 30, uh, kilo, 30 kilograms per square meter or higher, you have 42% uh, hypertension. If you are just uh, overweight with a body mass index between 25 and 29.9, 28%. And if you have a normal weight, about 15% with a body mass index so that it's uh, normal. And it's also uh, true for children age 5 to 14. If you are overweight at age 5 or age 14, you have higher blood pressure than children the same age that did not uh, have the obesity or the overweight. La number two, lack of exercise. Exercise itself is uh, anti-hypertensive. Uh, it is so important, I'll, I'll make a video in the future about that. Not exercising causes weight to gain, uh, that increases the risk of high blood pressure. Number three, High salt diets, too much salt. Salt, uh, a lot of salt uh, called also sodium in the body causes the body to retain fluid. This increases the high blood pressure. And if you want to learn more about sodium and high blood pressure, I'll have a video. I'll put the link on the top and on the description below as well. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up and subscribe. Help me spread this vital information to more people. Number four. Low potassium. Low potassium diets are associated with high uh, blood pressure. Number five, too much alcohol. Uh, alcohol has been linked to increased blood pressure, particularly in men. Number six, tobacco use, or vaping. Uh, this will uh, immediately raise your blood pressure, at least for a short while. And the smoking, of course, is going to injure the blood vessels and speed up the process of hardening of the arteries. Number seven, stress. Uh, high levels of stress can lead to a temporary increase in blood pressure. Stress-related habits like overeating, uh, smoking, uh, excessive drinking with, uh, will exacerbate the, the problem. And number eight, diabetes associated with a three to four-fold increase in high blood pressure. Number nine, obstructive sleep apnea is more common in patients with uh, high blood pressure than the general population. And Many patients with hypertension have also obstructive sleep apnea, and obstructive sleep apnea is actually a very important cause of uh, treatment-resistant hypertension, meaning uh, patients do not respond to the medications because they have undiagnosed 
uh, obstructive sleep apnea. So, because hypertension is the most prevalent risk factor for cardiovascular disease or number one killer, a major risk factor for strokes or number four killer, uh, these risk factors are really important and have to be taken seriously. There are societies in the world that do not have the high blood pressure problem that we have in Western countries. We need to learn from them. I'm counting on you to do this for yourself. Encourage your friends and family to do the same. If you want to learn more about salt and its importance on hypertension, watch this video. I'll put the link on the top of the screen and the description below. See you next video.